So I decided to film a better intro for this. So this is what happens when you put dry ice in your uh, liquid cooling system. I'll go over my uh, process in this video here, but I definitely do not recommend that you do this at home. Just don't do it. You hear me? Don't do it. It's, a, it's not a good thing to do. It's not safe. It does look really cool, though. Like, look at that. Oh, it's not doing it anymore, but... Yeah. And there sure is a lot of condensation now. So, uh, yeah. I'll edit something together out of this footage. So it's been a while since I've done a computer video for you guys, and uh, I figured it was about time I do another one. So, we're going to put some dry ice in my computer's coolant loop, uh, which should uh, make for some interesting results. Now, uh, let me just get this closed and pull up sensors over here. All right. So you can see my CPU is running around 68 Celsius for that one and 67 for this one. And the graphics card out of my water loop is running at... 52 Celsius at 81 watts of usage, mainly from this. And my CPU is loaded right up there because I decided to tell it to generate random numbers and send it to Deb Null. Nothing too crazy. Now, let me go over to the computer. Now, uh, here it is here. So today, I'm going to put some dry ice in my coolant loop. Well, why am I going to do this? Because I think it might be fun. Uh, this coolant's not rated to go as cold as dry ice is, but it should still make for some fun results. I am a little worried about condensation causing issues, but if it is, I'll just turn the computer off for a few days. Now let me get the dry ice. Now you can get dry ice at any grocery store. And at Home Depot sometimes. It's uh, carbon dioxide as a solid. I think it's around negative 50 Celsius, but I haven't actually looked it up ever. So I'm going to start here by breaking it up enough so that I can get it down into my cooling system. Based upon my fans, I'm a little over 70 Celsius, so I'll just double check the current temperatures. I'm gonna guess I'm at about 74 by now. All right, that should be broken up enough. Now you have to be careful, and you should really wear gloves when you're dealing with this. I'm probably not going to, but you can get some frostbite that's pretty bad because it's basically the same temperature as Northern Ontario in winter. All right, so now that I have that opened up, as you can see here, let me go take a look at the current temperatures. All right, I'm sitting at 70 Celsius on CPU 1 and 68 on CPU 2, and the graphics card is at 53 Celsius on the GPU die. Now this part might be a little tricky to do with the camera since I don't quite have the right sized uh, thing here, but let me see if I can find somewhere to perch the camera temporarily. I have no idea if you guys can see anything useful, but uh, oh boy, I'm probably going to really mishandle this dry ice. Let's hope I don't get too bad of frostbite if I do. Huh. Well, that's doing some crazy stuff in the cooling system already. Come on. Oh, my pump is not happy with me. Wow. Uh oh. Good thing this stuff isn't conductive. Ow. 
Okay, I have way too much of it in the cooling loop. That was not as well thought out as it should have been. Let's see what happens. I'm going to show you guys in one moment once I finish getting what's in the funnel in here. Wow, it's already freezing. All right. There's a pretty fair amount in there by now. Oh wow, that's uh still coming out. Okay, let me just try putting some here and uh, don't do what I'm doing because it's a sure way to get frostbite. Well, I think we might actually be overheating the system because we've lost flow. No, maybe not. Yeah, you can see it's, uh, it's going pretty crazy now. Have lots of carbon dioxide output from the uh, cooling reservoir. Oh, and it smells like uh, the glycol-based coolant, so that's uh, yummy. I guess the carbon dioxide boiling off takes some glycol with it. I'm sure somebody who's better at chemistry could explain that better than I did. Let's go see what the temperatures are looking like before I add more. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, wow, that's really going crazy. All right, wow, my CPU is at 94 Celsius on the one meter. Let's see where it is here. Okay, so I've reduced flow uh, substantially. Let's, let's take a look at the sensors. So we're at 70 Celsius on CPU one. Uh, the graphics card is at 53. And CPU 2 is around 68. Bizarrely, it's showing them at 94 Celsius up here. 95. I'm not really sure why, but it's... Oh, I am at 94. I looked at the wrong thing. Okay, yeah, I'm at 94 Celsius on CPU 1. 95 on CPU 2. My graphics card's at 66. This is not a happy machine. So gelling my coolant seems to have reduced the flow so much that it's no longer able to keep the machine cool. It's very upset with me. Yeah, I don't really see any flowing at all anymore. I think I might have got some in the pump. Yeah, I don't think I have any flow. That's not good. Let's try pressuring the system by holding that. Yeah, there's definitely nothing still in there. I think I might have got something in the pump. Um, See, so yeah, my coolant doesn't appear to be flowing properly anymore. I think I might have sucked in some into my pump. Oh yeah, I'm sucking in... Oh, it's full of air! Isn't that neat? See, so yeah, there's a piece in the pump and it seems it's producing carbon dioxide inside the pump now. And it's resulted in me having no flow. I've never operated this without flow before. I can't see if there's any in the graphics card. But uh, it certainly is interesting. Um, there's no flow at all. I may have even broken the impeller. I have a spare pump, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's annoying enough. So yeah, if you do this, you might want to make sure it's not going to get sucked into your pump before you do it. Um, lessons learned here. Probably don't put it in when it's going to get sucked into the pump. Now I'm going to load a little bit more in there and just see what happens because I uh, apparently I'm a glutton for punishment with this machine here. And I still have all this. So at the very least, it'll make a cool smoke show. I'll resume recording in a minute. Okay, guys, I uh, may have overdone it a little bit. I completely crammed this full. And the coolant's uh, kind of boiling over a little bit, so I'm going to just put that there. Um, it's starting to gel, which is what I was expecting to happen in the condensation. 
My pump still isn't working, but the system hasn't shut down yet. You can see it's full of air in there. That's carbon dioxide. Uh, this is getting quite cool, but not my processors. Ow. Um, yeah. See, even if I clog, kink the hose, it does nothing. So, because of the, uh, because of what I got in the pump, it's no longer flowing, but the system hasn't shut down yet, so that's, uh, that's something. And here's what I expected to happen with the coolant, basically. It's thickened right up and become kind of jelly. That's, uh, that's what I was going for. But yeah, um, if you do this, make sure your pump isn't directly below the reservoir, or else you'll have what I had happen, and it stops flowing. I seem to have just enough, uh, residual motion left that it's still going, but, uh, yeah, don't do that. Makes for cool looking effects though. Now let's see how much I'm overheating here. I'm probably close to 100 Celsius by now. Uh, 94. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, the graphics card's at 95. Um, yeah, I might kill some of the stuff I have running. All right, I brought the system down to basically no load, as you can see here. And I'm rapidly having the temperature start dropping down. So yeah, don't do this unless you set up your loop for it. I just decided I was gonna do it for fun, and uh, yeah, I didn't get very good results. I also made a mess. Yeah, my, uh, my cooling system's probably at a pretty high positive pressure too. Usually I don't have much of one, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's something. See, so yeah, lessons learned. The coolant didn't freeze as bad as I expected, but the uh, the pump sure didn't like getting carbon dioxide in it. So the biggest lesson I learned here is don't expect your cooling system to work worth a damn. And unless you engineered it to do this. Like if I did this again, I would have the reservoir off to the side, a longer length of pipe and two pumps in parallel, and that would actually fix this issue completely. Or even just a second pump in series would probably be enough to overcome that and still get enough flow to benefit from this instead of what I had happen. But look how cool that looks.